you can be a sports photographer and shoot soccer, but you don't have to be a soccer player. But if you're gonna shoot rock climbing, mountain biking, surfing, skiing, um, you're generally gonna be an active participant in that sport. And to me, that's kind of what adventure photography is. My name is Liam Duran. I am an adventure photographer from Breckenridge, Colorado. Where we are this week, uh, working out of Lone Pine, California, this is kind of where I started my adventure life 23 years ago. Skiing, hiking, running, camping, and kind of just shooting everything that we were doing along the way. Turning photography into a career just kind of happened, which I think is what the answer that you might get from a lot of other adventure photographers. The photography genre in itself is really born out of passion for the sports that you're capturing, the adventures that you're doing. So just slowly it morphed. I, I took my first photos and I started submitting them um, into magazines and they were starting to run in print magazines and slowly that evolved into getting more and more commercial work. And that's, that's kind of how I got my start. Back in the day, that's how it went. You had to get published. If you weren't getting published, you were nowhere. Nowadays, it's a little bit different. You know, you can start your entire career never having worked for a, a client, never having published, just go straight to Instagram or YouTube and you can start that way. So it's a, a lot different nowadays. The first Sigma lens I bought was a 1020 f3.5. I didn't know much about Sigma, but I was like, hey, you know, I'm barely making it at this point. You know, I'm making like $12 an hour working at a ski shop, right? And all I care about is the adventure. Pop that lens on my camera. I got a cover out of that lens in the first 10 days that I owned it. Same thing happens with the 7200. I decide it's time to get a 7200 2.8. I buy that one, put it on the camera, boom, I get the cover of Powder Magazine. And the name of the magazine is actually uh, Colorado, We're Looking at You. And the reason they named it that is because through the snowstorm, you can see his eye, the skier's eye, sharp as a tack, looking right into the camera. So once I got that shot published on the cover of powder, very tough cover to get, uh, Sigma called me and they're like, who are you? What's your story? What's going on? We'd like to talk a little bit more. So that was how I got started. I got started as an actual customer and a user. So for adventure photography, I have two main kits that I'm working with. I, I work with both the art series. So when I take out the art series, I have the 1424 the 2470 uh, and the 7200-28. The other kit that I typically use is the contemporary kit, and that is uh, the 162828, the 287028, and the Sigma 100-400DGDN. So I will choose which one I use depending on the adventure I'm going on. If I need to go light and fast, I go contemporary. If I have the ability to carry the slightly heavier, beefier build uh, art lenses, then I'll bring those. So it, it just kind of depends on what I'm doing and what the adventure is. Okay, a couple quick tips for getting started in adventure photography. The first and foremost thing that I'm gonna tell you is that shoot what you're passionate about. What do you really care about? What adventures do you really want to do? Shoot those. Don't shoot what other people are doing or the typical thing you see on Instagram or YouTube. Follow your own heart and follow your own passion and that is guaranteed to lead to your best work. So another good one too that I like to tell people is that bad weather makes good photography. Do not not go out because you see rain or wind or fog or snow those elements make some of the best shots that I've ever gotten in my life. And as far as doing the work goes, you gotta get up early and you gotta stay out late because that's when the magic happens. So we got up nice and early this morning and uh, we wanted to see the area that we're shooting because that is uh, that just gives us some ideas of what we're gonna shoot. So basically we're, we're scouting. There are so many shots to be had here. It's almost intimidating. It's, it's hard to choose. You can look to the west and you have the Sierras. You look to the east and you have the whites. You have all these amazing rock formations here. It's like a, a, an embarrassment of riches almost for photography. What I'm looking for here is are a couple different things. Um, I'm thinking about where the light is. I'm thinking about my compositions. And, and very specifically, I'm thinking about where I can put my athletes. 
that's the difference between doing, you know, landscape photography and action sports photography is, well, there's a lot of similarities because you're out in nature and you need these beautiful backdrops and you need beautiful light, but you always have to have a place to put the athletes. So as we're looking at different shots, I will actively run through and mimic what I think the athletes, you know, can do. So that's what we're doing today is just kind of setting up all these different scenarios. We only have a few minutes to catch each shot, uh, but you know, coming out here and doing this first enables us to have like a mental picture of how the morning is going to go. You know, we're going to, well, how we think it's going to work out. It always changes all the time. And you look at something and you get pulled away by some glittery thing over there. But, but having that map and having an idea of how you want your shoot to go is really important. So one of the biggest questions I get when I'm working at trade shows and giving presentations and workshops is, how do I start as an adventure photographer? What do I do? And it's really very simple. Go out and do it. Get your butt out in the field with your camera and your friends or professional athletes and just do it. That's all it really is, is a matter of just making it happen. If you can overcome that, that starting friction of thinking it's never gonna happen, then, then, then you're halfway there. Just get out and shoot, and you're pretty much an adventure photographer if you, if you get off the couch and you go do it.